So somebody sent me an article about Microsoft. Microsoft is apparently hiring Rust developers. Rust. So why are they hiring Rust developers? Well, apparently they got to replace a bunch of C sharp code and uh, they're going to do a Rust. So what does that tell you? So what does that tell you about Rust? Well, that tells you that Rust has got a long-term future. If Microsoft is going to be rewriting some of their core code, which was in C Sharp, their language, and they're going to be doing a Rust, that means they're going to be supporting Rust for, uh, well, for the foreseeable future. So I wouldn't be too concerned about Rust disappearing at this point. That doesn't mean, though, that Rust is going to become this super popular language. So. The other question you have to ask yourself is why are they replacing the C Sharp code? Well, I assume it's for performance reasons. You know, Rust is known to be extremely fast, uh, fast C++ fast, without the downsides. So Rust basically uh, allows you to write in far more secure code, more solid code, whereas the C++, uh, it's a lot trickier, you know? It's showing its age. Another interesting thing about that piece, they were talking about how uh, this year, Microsoft, well, I think in 2023, fired about 2% of their staff. So this is um, not much, right? That means, that means Microsoft has kept 98% of their staff. As I mentioned in other videos, uh, during the COVID lockdown, uh, fiasco a lot of tech companies started hiring very aggressively uh, and they hired a bunch of people they didn't really need I've seen this cycle a few times before so it's kind of natural that they're going to start laying off people who are not necessarily the most effective or maybe they just over hired in the first place what tech companies will do during boom times is that they will do what they call defensive hires where they're gonna hire people even if they don't necessarily need them but they'll hire them just in case because they don't want to have uh, the other, one of the other tech companies uh, hire some special talents or top talents. Hard to find really good developers, you know. So there you go. That's it. A very short Rust video. It is being used by Microsoft. They're using it to replace C Sharp code. I haven't looked at the details, but I'm certain it's for some uh, core infrastructure code stuff that needs to be highly, highly performant. And apparently C Sharp is just not cutting it. And there you go. Again, that doesn't mean you should go out and learn Rust and, and drop everything else. It's just, this video is just to keep you aware of what's going on out there. And, uh, but keep in mind, though Rust has huge advantage in terms of it runs very quickly and doesn't have some of the security issues and, that you might see in C++, apparently it's really hard to learn. That's what I've read, really hard to learn. It takes a long time to get a developer up to speed and performance with Rust. Anyway, that's it for now.